guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back with another Stick It Down layout for the August uh, single sketch layout. And I am going to be playing with the Pink Paisley Summer Lights collection. So this is one of the newer collections. And so the sketch this month called for a strip of a pattern paper that ran across the top of the layout. And then there's quite a bit of white space towards the bottom half of the layout. So I'm going to take this polka dot paper and I'm going to put that along the top of this stripe paper and that stripe paper is going to be my background for the layout. And then I'm using that little branding strip that I had left over with a vertical um, stripe as kind of a dividing line between the two. And that's something that also showed up in the sketch. So if you want to see the sketch and see what the other ladies on the design team create or if you want to play along with the sketch, make sure you do check out the Stick It Down um, blog for all of the different sketches and the layouts that are going on this month. And so in the sketch, there's one small photo that's going to be kind of centered over that pattern paper strip. And so I am taking this three by four photo of my daughter and I just printed this in the Project Life app and I am backing it with this really bright, vibrant purple uh, pattern paper that comes in that Summer Lights kit. And it's one of my favorite pattern papers from that kit. And I've also layered it up with one of the frames from that same collection that says Vacation Vibes because I wanted it to have a little bit of a different look to it. And I've really been enjoying lately using these frames with words in the vertical orientation. So having the phrase itself run, you know, next to my photo. And so I'm going to pull out this specialty paper that has these um, kind of metallic iridescent squares that you can cut out and use. And so I'm going to grab a yellow one that says more summer and then a turquoise one that says love this. And I'm going to have those in two separate areas on the layout. So I know that I want to include an embellishment cluster down here in the bottom left. This was not something that was in the original sketch, but it's something that I wanted to kind of add as a detail. And so I am going to create a little cluster down there on top of this four inch doily. And I pick up all my doilies from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And so they, she has several different colors and sizes. And then I'm also going to have one of those four inch doilies that runs behind my photo. And so now I'm kind of going through and looking at all the different embellishment possibilities that came in the same kit. And so I'm going to start out with just my summer lights collection. And I'm going to go through and kind of find out which pieces in that collection that I know I want to include before I move on to other collections and other additions. So I'm looking at the sticker sheet and the chipboard and the ephemera packs and seeing all the things that I might want to include that are specific to this collection first. And so that's something that I will do sometimes um, when I'm playing with a newer collection is I'll start with the goodies that are from that particular collection until I feel like I've used what I want to use from there and then I'll go to my stash for some extras. And so that's what I'm doing right here is I've gone back to my stash and I've pulled out these puffy sticker shape uh, sheets and these are from Crepe Paper Cute Girl. So a little bit older collection now, even though I still have quite a bit of it left. And so I grabbed the puffy sticker flowers to go behind my photo and I just tucked those in. And then I tucked in a little banner on the bottom that says I love this girl. And now I'm just going to go ahead and keep looking through there and tucking in more little embellishments and I'm trying to decide if I want a big title over on that side and I end up not going in that direction. I do add a few phrase stickers for my Tim Holtz chit chat booklet and I tend to use that on quite a few layouts. And so this is just a picture of my daughter from the Field Museum when we were on vacation recently in Chicago and they had this amazing like spiral kind of marble staircase and so I just took some pictures of her um, kind of pose standing on that staircase and I really like the outfit she was wearing and the look on her face and how she was standing in this picture so I knew that I wanted this to be a layout. So then I'm going to go ahead and pull some puffy stickers. These are leftover from an old old collection. I'm not even sure which collection it is at this point. And then I'm also pulling out some puffy stickers from C'est La Vie and I'm going to layer all those things together. So my title is going to end up being Hello Wonder which I just layered on top of that die cut camera from the chipboard sheet. And then I'm going to go ahead and just grab these I believe are from Hip Kit. Um, a bunch of enamel dots and so I'm scattering those enamel dots um, around both of the embellishment clusters around my photo as well as the embellishment cluster down on the bottom 
And sometimes I like to do these in numbers that aren't threes. So oftentimes we talk about and we see a lot of embellishments where, okay, you have to do everything in threes. You need three clusters with three enamel dots and three of this and three of that. And sometimes I think it creates a neat look to not do threes. So my bottom cluster ends up with five and then my top clusters have, I think, four and five. And so sometimes having that little bit of odd difference creates kind of a different look. And then I've also just tucked in some other little puffy sticker sheets. I have a star or I have a heart on the bottom and then a little love and an oh yeah. And that's going to do it for this layout. So I do hope you'll stop by the Stick It Down blog and check out the sketch and show us what you create with it. We'll see you again soon. Bye.